First thing, I would like you to try something. So when you hit your forehand, I would like you to keep your head up and then after you can turn. But keep your head on the ball and after you, f un until you finish your shot, you keep it and then you can turn, okay? What I would like you to do is same, you hit the forehand and once, once you finish your motion, you pass this leg in front. Okay? Every shot? Or? Every shot, like this. Boom, boom. Okay? Perfect. Do you know that your shoulders are a bit behind your hips? You understand what I mean when you hit? Like this. I want you to play. Just hear the hand acceleration. Put as much acceleration as you can with your hand. Like, really let go, you know? But use that speed here. Not to create pace, to create spin, okay? But here, if you can accelerate even more here, do the, do the best you can. Every forehand, voila, voila. My question is, so you can hit harder than what you usually do because you just did. How do you feel about it? Is it better? Is it not be better? Is it... Uh, much better now. Much better? Okay. So what do you think about hitting all the time with this intensity with your hands? I guess I can, but I think I make more mistakes. And do you think that if you practice that, you'll not make more mistakes? Yes, I think so, yes. You think so? I so think it's so. worth trying, right? Yes. Because your quality, the quality of your ball is much higher. It's just that you're not used to hitting yeah. that hard. So I think that the harder you can, ha you can hit, the better, because you are also teaching your hand and your body to accelerate more. So you're, you know, we have a kind of different fibers in the body. You have slow and fast. And if you work on your fast ones, you develop them. Okay. So the more you can accelerate here, the better. Okay. okay? So, but you don't want to miss and you're right. We're not here to miss. Adding more spin is a way to hit harder without playing too fast and missing too much, right? You have to make sure that this acceleration that he can make, because he just showed us, he has to have all the time. But of course, at practice, you don't want to miss every three, two, three balls, so you're going to add more spin. So you use the speed of the hand to create spin, not to create pace, except if you decide to accelerate. Now, next, this is something we want to see also. When you hit your forehand, I mean, I think your forehand is amazing, but we are looking at details that can make it even better, right? Okay. What we would like to see every time is when you hit your forehand, at the end of the forehand, the shoulder that is behind finishes in front, here. You want to show me without the ball, how you can do that? Yes, exactly. And this, we, we're going to see that he's going to play much deeper. Okay, that's much better. But, I show you what, what you do. When you hit, come on this side. Okay, when you hit your back end, your body weight transfers from back to front. You go back, front, you know, you see? Here, 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 every time. When you hit the forehand, you go from back to back. Okay? So this is better because this goes front, which means that you, why I want this to go front? Simply because when it goes front, you keep the ball much longer in the racket, so you have a better control, okay? But we would like at the same time to see that your body weight goes from here to there. That's why I want you to pass the leg after. Yes, yes. Boom, boom, okay? okay? So you add it? Yes. Let's go. Parfait! So that's much better, but we, we can still do better. So we're not gonna give up until we get exactly what we want, okay? So i show you one more thing. This leg, so you're here, and a lot of time you're on this one and this one is here or not, you, you don't have your weight on this one. So it's difficult for you to transfer when you're here. So ideally, ideally, as much as you can and most of the time, time you can. When, before you hit, you have to have your weight there. If you have your weight there, it's easy to transfer forward. If you have your weight there, you're not going to transfer, yes. okay? So I don't tell you to be on the line. Huh? You can be like this, but here you have to feel this before you hit, okay? okay. Let's go. And so, if the ball is deep, move fast. Yeah. So before hitting, you're able to have this one on the ground okay. and you wait on it. Yeah. It never moves the right foot so on the back end. It's very stable because of the right foot. Very good. Great, Lennon. Great. Yes. Okay, good. Very good, huh? Thanks. Very good. Always make sure you have this one here. 
solid here, then you can go. Okay, we have the same thing with the 100 backhand. 100 backhand, you have to feel strong here. Once you feel strong here, then you can go, right? Same, strong here, then you can accelerate. No, no, no. Oh, no. yes, no. such depth. That's what we want. Yes, very good. Yeah, so super good. So good. First of all, the most important, I mean, the two most important things is always have speed here. So don't control the hand, but always let go and accelerate the hand. Just more top spin, so there's control, right? Second thing is always have the shoulder at the end of the motion in front in order to avoid this to really let go and, and finish here. And the third thing to have a good transfer, body weight transfer, is to make sure you have the weight on the left foot before before hitting the shot. Because if he's there, there is no chance he's gonna be able to transfer forward. So that's the three things quite a lot, but I mean, one thing is really the, the, the acceleration of the hand is something that has to be automatic. Uh, Lennon, the good news, it's not holidays, so, so we're gonna keep working. <laughs> and we're gonna work on when you hit the ball and where. So let's go back and I'll show you. Sorry, I'm limping, but I have a foot problem. I don't, it's not really great on, uh, on video, but I look like an old man. What I feel like is, it's not who, you de who decide how, how early you take the ball, it's his ball, which means that you're always here. So if the ball bounces here, you're gonna take it on the rise because you're here. <laughs> if the ball bounces there, you're gonna take it on its way down because you're still there, okay? And what you want is to decide if you wanna take the ball earlier or later, this is your choice, okay? Right? Okay, so just to feel, to feel the moment, I would like you now to do exactly the same, but just you take one ball on its way down, so you know the ball bounces, goes up first and then down. So one on the way down, one on the way up. One on the way down, one on the way up. Okay. Ready to use your legs? <laughs> Let's go. Can you tell which one it takes on the way up and which one it takes on the way down or not? Uh, I can't, huh? <laughs> Complicated. Huh? So you are taking one on the way up and one on the way down? Uh, no. No, uh, no. Okay. The ball is bouncing, goes up and then goes down. Okay. So one, you're gonna take after it's on the, at the moment when it's going down, and the next one you're gonna take when it's going up. Okay. okay? One of each. So one each. One each. Okay. One, one, one early, one late. One early, one late. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Good. Perfect. Stop. So when you are inside the court, I saw that you were slowing down here. Your hand. Ah, oh, slowing down, yes. No, 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 it's okay. Yes. It's okay. It's just because you feel like, oof, I'm inside the court, I have to control. No, no, you don't have to control. You're gonna do this. No problem. But if there is spin, it's gonna stay in. So always accelerate, okay? But very good. Do it again. I feel the biggest game changer for him. I know it's kind of stupid, but it's this, to hit the ball hard. Every ball. Very good. So what you do with the forehand is acceleration that I personally I really love. I think it's great. Could you do the same with the backhand? Yes. Always the same. Always the same acceleration. Really fast with the hands and spin. Okay? So now you can take the balls normal, not too early. Focus on accelerating the hands on both sides. Okay? Great! Great, such a good yeah, shot. Good. Woo! Great. Uh, that's really amazing. Eh? The quality of your forehand is unbelievable. Yeah. I hope you know it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. With the backhand, because you're not used to, so it's the same, just more spin and play higher. Okay? Because you accelerate more. So it's important to take, I mean, play this high over the net and have a ball that goes like that. Okay? Great. Pouah! Monstrueux. See the shot? Uh, so deep, so heavy. Yeah. Good. So good. Good go. Good. That's very good. That's exactly it. Exactly it. Amazing. Good. 
So if the net is there, it's swivelable that doesn't do that, but always go like curvy, always, you know? So you pass the net easily and then, and then when it bounces, it accelerates. Yeah. Okay, so let's do a few more. The forehand, you do it amazingly, really. Continue. Uh, if you miss a few for the moment, it's fine. Of course, we don't like to miss, right? Yes. Okay. But you made changes, so it's, you need just a bit of time of adaptation. And I tell you, you adapt really fast because already the quality of your ball is amazing and you don't miss much. But sometimes you're going to miss some for the moment. But if you keep doing that all the time, very soon, you're not going to miss anymore. Okay. Let's do it again. Yes. Good. That's the one. Yes, that's the one. So the first thing that we wanted to improve was the end of the shot, which was a bit too much controlled, and the shoulder that was not really going in front. So we realized that when he accelerates more the hand here and really goes for it, naturally the, the shoulder goes front and the end of the shot is not controlled anymore. It's really, really going. So that's perfect. And now we know that we didn't like the fact that the shoulders were too much back in regards to the hips, you know, and also that there was not a good transfer for the same reason. And we found out that when this leg, when he puts the weight on this leg before hitting the shot, the transfer is much more natural. So we've sold mostly everything. We're going to work also the same thing on the back end for the racket speed because same, he's, he's used to really, uh, he's very much into probably mentally into controlling what he's doing. Exactly. He loves control probably and he hates to lose, it's like, wow. So that's why naturally he started to play very much in control on both sides, but we know that high level, it's not about control. It is about control, but you, can have, you cannot have control without being able to really accelerate or have a good quality of, uh, I mean, your ball has to have a lot of quality. So to have a great hand speed, Racket speed. With spin is the best way to have both. You have the quality of the ball that bounces and you have also the control through the speed. The spin, sorry. So we have both. We know that at high level, we need control, but we also need to be able to, have, to create pace. And we need also to have a ball that really bounces, that have a lot of quality. So too much control here doesn't bring that, only control. So the fact that he has the racket speed and we know that when he has it, he has everything. He has the quality of the ball that bounces really fast and, and powerful, the power. He has the pace and he has good control thanks to the spin that he creates. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video and want more tennis tips, first, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then follow me on Instagram at Patrick Muratoglu. See you very soon on a tennis court.